Welcome to the 24th Annual Commencement Ceremonies of the University of Washington Bothell. We open today with the national anthem performed today by Jerry Roberts. Jerry is graduating today with her Bachelor of Arts in Media and Communication. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Jerry. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I now have the honor of introducing the Chancellor of the University of Washington Bothell, Dr. Wolf Yeh. Thank you, Dr. Resnick. Distinguished guests, faculty, ladies and gentlemen, students. What a wonderful day for commencement. In a few minutes, we'll be honoring students who have worked hard and sacrificed much to be able to appear on this stage today and claim their well-deserved diplomas. Commencement ceremonies are time-honored academic traditions that extend hundreds of years into the past. These traditions symbolize the fundamental values of pursuit of truth, the preservation of freedom, and cultivation of community. Commencement ceremonies are very festive occasions, acknowledging the completion of one phase of life and commencing to new challenges and opportunities now available because of students' hard work. To the members of the class of 2015, you will be receiving degrees and certificates today and you should be very proud of your accomplishments, as I know we are very all proud of you. Let's give our graduates an opportunity to take in this moment. I would like to ask all of us here to congratulate the class of 2015 and to stand and applaud their accomplishments. So not one of these graduates has made it uh, to this important day without the support of many, 
many people, including parents, step-parents, siblings, spouses, partners, children, cousins, grandparents, uncles, aunts, neighbors, and so many more. So now, I ask the class of 2015 to stand and give a hand to all those who, who are here to have supported you. Now, I would like to introduce you to some of the very distinguished guests sitting on our platform. The University of Washington comprises three unique campuses, one in Tacoma, one in Seattle, and of course, our campus in Bothell. <laughs> Ultimate responsibility for the three campuses rests with the members of the University of Washington Board of Regents, 10 citizens of the state who are appointed by the governor and confirmed by the State Senate. These dedicated men and women commit a tremendous amount of skill, passion, and time each year to ensure that the health and well-being of the University of Washington. Seven of our regents are with us this afternoon. I would like to introduce them at this time, but please hold your applause until they have all been introduced. Regent William Eyre, Chair. Ms. Marnie Brown, student member of the board. Regent Jeremy Jake. Regent Constance Rice. Regent Rogelio Riojas. Regent Patrick Shanahan. Regent Herb Simon. Let's recognize our regents. It is also my privilege to introduce the interim president of the University of Washington, Dr. Anamari Kause. And we'll be hearing from President Kause later in the program. I'm also pleased to introduce the leadership of the University of Washington, Bothell. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Susan Jeffords. Vice Chancellor for Administration and Planning, Dr. Anna Karaman. Visiting Fellow and Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Life at Salem State University, Dr. Scott James. Vice Chancellor for Advancement and External Relations, Dr. Richard Penny. Dean of the School of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, Dr. Elaine Scott. Dean of the School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences, Dr. Bruce Burgett. Dean of the School of Business, Dr. Sandeep Krishnamurthy. I think he's, I guess he's gonna get louder. Uh, Dean of Student Affairs, Mr. George Theo. <laughs> Associate Dean of the University of Washington Libraries and Director of UW Bothell Library, Ms. Sarah Ledley. Assistant Vice Chancellor for Research, Ms. Carolyn Brennan. Assistant Vice Chancellor for Information Technologies, Mr. Joe Shelley. Assistant Vice Chancellor for Academic Achievement and Center for University Studies and Programs, Dr. Leslie Ashball. <laughs> Dean of School of Nursing and Health Studies, Dr. David Allen. <laughs> I think Nursing and health, and health Studies just got it right now. Dean of School of Educational Studies, Dr. Bradley Fourteen. <laughs> and Director of Diversity, Dr. Terrell Ross. And finally, the General Faculty Organization Chair, Dr. Geraldine, Ger Geraldine Resnick, who is also serving as our Grand Marshal today. Please help me thank the men, men and women who lead the great university. Thank you. Also seated on the platform today are our readers who will read the names of you, each of our graduates as they cross the stage. Will you all stand and be recognized, our readers? In just a few minutes, the class of 2015 will become honored UW Basel alumni. 
Here representing our alum, alumni is Mr. George Lampy. He is chair of our alumni council. George. And finally, I would like to uh, acknowledge the members of the University of Washington Bothell Advisory Committee. Our advisory board members are volunteers, uh, and they volunteer their time, experience, and wisdom on behalf of the campus. They help build community support and provide important advice and guidance to the university at every stage of development of our, of our campus. The full list of board members is in your program. I would like to introduce the chair of our advisory board, Mr. Judd Marquardt. He's right there. The centerpiece of a Utah Bothell education is close working relationship between our students, faculty, and staff. This certainly has been true for students in the class of 2015. The faculty have guided you and shared their knowledge and expertise with you. Staff have supported you and facilitated the educational process. Many staff played quiet, invisible roles, yet they helped make your education happen. I invite the members of the faculty and staff of the University of Washington Bothell to stand so we may acknowledge them for the critical roles they have played in the lives of our graduates. Faculty and staff, please rise. Please be seated. This is a very special year for Utah Bothell as we are celebrating our 25th anniversary. When our campus was created back in 1990 by the Washington State Legislature, they wanted to provide a University of Washington education to students from North King and Snohomish counties. Together with this class, we're, we now have more than 15,000 Utah Bothell alumni contributing to the economy and enriching our community. I'm proud to say that Utah Bothell is now a destination of choice for students of great promise from King and Snohomish counties, as well as those from across the state of Washington. But as we grow, our commitment to the student experience has remained the same. At Utah Bothell, our faculty and staff will go above and beyond to make sure that our students succeed. By every measure, the class of 2015 has been very successful. You are the largest graduating class in Utah Bothell's history. You are. There are almost 1,800 of you receiving degrees and certificates, and many of you have maintained careers while attending school. Many of you are raising families. You have advocated for causes and issues that are important to you. And you have embodied diversity, which is one of the values we hold dear here at Utah Bothell. Utah Bothell has diversity that you won't find on many other campuses. Our graduates hail from as close as Bothell and Seattle to as far away as China, Saudi Arabia, Germany, and Japan. The most senior member of the class is 62 years old. And the youngest is 18. Many students have studied abroad. Hundreds have held internships with regional companies others taught in local schools or continued as healthcare providers while in school. Indeed, there are almost 1,800 unique stories of effort and perseverance among our students, and we're extremely proud of them all. Congratulations, class of 2015. So today, We'll begin with this afternoon with remarks from our student commencement speaker, James Anderson, president of the Associated Students of University of Washington, Bothell. I've been proud to work with James this year, and I welcome him to the stage. James.
Here's Kamina. So this year's student leadership at the University of Washington Bothell has been outstanding. Thanks in no small part to James's efforts. James has been a leader in advocating for resources in Olympia. He has been very visible on campus and has been a strong voice for all students on campus. James is, James is already a professional in the culinary in industry and he helped ex expand food choices on campus by paving the way for, the, uh, for our food trucks that we enjoy today. <laughs> James's legacy will live on in the new Student Activities and Recreation Center, which will open this fall. We wish James and our talented and dedicated student leaders the best the future has to offer. So with that, James, come on up. Thank you, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> As I look out into this massive crowd here today, I'll tell you what, I see tomorrow's future. I see future scientists working to cure cancer, future lawyers working to protect our constitutional rights, and countless other professionals ready at the helm to make a difference in our world. I see a pack of proud Huskies. Con congratulations, my fellow students, we did it. <laughs> Parents and loved ones, thank you so much for making it possible for all of us to be here today. We wouldn't be here without your love and support. Let us recognize their efforts again. Even though I was three years shy of making my entrance into the world when I first came to UW Bothell, I must say that it is an honor being here to speak in front of Chancellor Ye, President Kause, our regents, faculty, staff, and of course, my peers, the class of 2015. I'm incredibly proud to call myself a graduate of the University of Washington Bothell. I am here because like all of you, I bleed purple and gold. Throughout the time we spent completing our degrees, we have grown and we have accomplished an incredible milestone in our lives. While we were here, we did not just receive an education, but we built one together. Today, I'm going to share with you three incredible traits that I observed about my peers. First, you are inquisitive. You have fostered an unparalleled sense of curiosity and an unwavering passion to always discover more. Second, you are determined. You have proved this by donning your cap and gowns here today. Third, you are fearless. You are never afraid to question the answers or even question the questions. These three traits are extraordinary. When we reflect upon what we have achieved, always remember those whom you have shared your experience with at UW Bothell. Dr. Alan Both assistant professor in the School of Business, taught me an invaluable lesson in life. He taught me about servant leadership, about putting the needs of others above my own. In a very small but powerful book called The Go-Giver, uh, Bob Berg and John Mann explained that the key to success is understanding that your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than what you take in payment. Let that sink in. It is not about what we receive, but what we give that makes us successful. Sir Winston Churchill famously said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. So what did you do to give value to the people sitting around you today? Did you buy them a large coffee during finals week? Did you stay up late working on a class project? Did you then remind them to get up at 6 a.m. to register for classes? Never again. <laughs> Whatever it was that you did, <laughs> you should all be incredibly proud of yourselves because you may have helped the person sitting next to you today in ways that you would have never imagined. That simple fact right there is the truly remarkable thing about this university. You know what? I wanna add one more observation to my list of three. You are not only inquisitive, fearless, and determined, but you are also selfless. You are never afraid to put service above self by going out of your way to help others especially by ensuring that your peers could walk across this stage with you today. Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm once said, service is the rent for the privilege that we pay to live on this earth. So now that you have graduated from this university, I would like to ask each of you, what will you do to pay your rent? 
What will you do to continue contributing to the success of those around you? You all have equipped yourself with an incredible tool, and that tool is knowledge. Your education is one of the most powerful assets that you will ever receive. So no matter what challenges you face in your life, use that knowledge for good, for helping others, and for contributing to society. As you continue on your path, whether it is going to graduate school, starting a family, or beginning a, uh, your new career, I challenge each of you to use your education to ensure the success of those around you. Always remember that the most powerful gift that you have to offer is yourself. And this is a gift that I've experienced here at UW Bothell. Having met most of you, worked with many of you, and been friends with too few of you, I am blessed to say that I have had the honor of serving as your ASUWB president. You started your education with a pack of proud Huskies, and now as we prepare to commence, always know that you are leaving this fine university with a family, the class of 2015. So wherever you go, move forward with a mission to add value, not only in your own life, but in the lives of those around you. So my friends, I'd like to ask of you all, stand up, stand short, and always be proud, because you are now graduates of the University of Washington Bothell. Thank you. Well, thank you, James. And you gotta love his, not only bow tie, but uh, his Anderson tartan that he's sporting today. Our annual commencement ceremony also offers us a moment to honor some special individuals in our community. Now I invite Mr. George Lampy, Chair of our Alumni Council, to come forward for a special presentation. George. Thank you, Chancellor Ye. I first want to say to the class of 2015, on behalf of the over 15,000 University of Washington Bothell alumni, welcome to the family. You're now prepared to become the leaders of tomorrow, those who will make a lasting impact in your communities. Each year, the University of Washington Bothell recognizes one of our alumni who has exhibited distinguished professional achievements and outstanding community service. It is my honor to present the 2015 Uda Bothell Distinguished Alumnus of the Year Award to June Alteris. <laughs> June holds two degrees from Uda Bothell. She graduated with her bachelor's degree in nursing in 1997 and returned in 2007 to earn her master's degree. June began college as a single mom with four children. She credits the staff and faculty of Utah Bothell with helping her succeed. June began her career in healthcare, working in a physician's office. Eventually, she trained as a nurse and completed an associate's degree from Everett Community College. She received an offer to become a nurse manager, but it was with the condition that she earned her four-year degree. She did earn her degrees and continued to advance in her career Earlier this year, she was named CEO of the Swedish Health System. As, <laughs> as CEO, June advocates for patients, but also for the nurses and other staff who report to her. And when the staff ask where they should go to continue their education, she says, go to UW Bothell. Please join me in recognizing June Alteris as our Distinguished Alumnus of the Year. Now, I, I ask uh, Vice Chancellor Susan Jeffers to come forward to present the Distinguished Teaching Award. As is tradition at many universities, we celebrate teaching and effective learning by conferring awards upon faculty and students who have earned recognition for exceptional achievement. Each and every member of our faculty is committed to outstanding teaching. Yet the Distinguished Teaching Award recognizes one faculty member with a particularly outstanding record of teaching at UW Bothell. 
The recipient of this year's Distinguished Teaching Award, chosen by a committee upon recommendations from students and colleagues and conferred by the president of the university, is Dr. Wayne Au. Wayne, would you please join me? Coming. Come on up. <laughs> Wayne is an associate professor in the UW Bothell School of Interdisciplinary. He is not. Hmm? It says here you're in interdisciplinary occupation. No. He's in educational studies. <laughs> okay. Misprint typo on the uh, brochures here. So. Wayne is an associate professor in the School of Educational Studies, and a very proud one indeed. Uh, since joining UW Bothell in 2008, he has been an example of excellence. He has consistently proven himself to be an outstanding and successful teacher who supports students at every stage of academic development. He's a nationally recognized advocate for multicultural education and is chair of the Campus-Wide Diversity Council at UW Bothell. We at UW Bothell hold the student-faculty relationship to be paramount. With this in mind, I'm honored to introduce our University of Washington Bothell Distinguished Teacher for 2015, Dr. Wayne Au. Last year, the faculty created a new award to honor one among their ranks who performs transformative and creative research. This year's winner of the Distinguished Research, Scholarship, and Creative Activity Award is Professor P.K. Sen of the School of Business. Dr. Sen. P.K. joined the faculty in 2012 and has helped the School of Business rise to prominence in the field of accounting. He's the author of 19 articles in peer-reviewed journals, numerous book chapters, and many other nationally recognized publications. He has also been a collaborator and mentor for colleagues in the School of Business. In his short three years at UW Bothell, his work has resulted in numerous presentations at conferences, but also in the success of his colleagues and the success of our students. Please join me in congratulating Professor P.K. Sen as this year's recipient of this distinguished award. Among our 1,800 graduates this year, there are three special students who are receiving awards. This year, two undergraduate Chancellor's Medal and the President's Medal. The Chancellor's Medal is presented to an undergraduate student whose commitment to learning and to achieving a degree has been extraordinary and who has been a cons consistent source of inspiration for faculty and fellow students. Today, I'm proud to announce Christian Arsniega as one of our Chancellor's Medalists for 2015. Christian, would you join me at the podium? Christian has been an inspiration to her professors and her classmates. Here's a look at her story that will inspire you too. I think she's eager to learn. Uh, that is the first and foremost thing that I noticed. She clearly stood out because she had very specific and very deep questions uh, from the beginning. And I noticed that. She's very determined, um, but also very creative. And she's very exacting. I didn't come here saying, I'm going to run a student newspaper and I'm going to do all these things. <laughs> I just wanted to come here and see if I could get my first quarter under my belt and to see if I was college material, because I have a lot of self-doubt. I had a career in, as being a pastry chef. And I was terrified to come back to school, absolutely terrified. My husband was deployed, and I'd been through deployments before, but to do it during school, gosh, while he was deployed, I wasn't sleeping. 
Christian's a first generation student. She has a really, really strong work, work ethic, and so um, she's put in a lot of long hours. You know, at some point, you know, I felt like, what am I doing? How can I finish this? And my professor came out in the hall and said, don't give up, you can do this. I said, look, you know, you bring a depth of, of knowledge uh, that is absolutely needed in the class. You are learning. This place, while you may think that it's not fit for you, we have a lot of resources and, you know, we always will provide whatever we can. You know, I'm probably one of many who have told her this, um, uh, but uh, I'm very happy to, to have contributed slightly into that direction uh, because she ended up doing amazingly well, I think. Now that I'm done, I'm so thankful. It was the best thing that I could do for myself. The pride that I saw in her is infectious. It's the kind of thing that is um, a joy to be a teacher around, right? When your students do these things and they have an accomplishment and they raise their fist in the air and they're like, I did it. I feel like I found my voice. I feel like I have something to say. And that's been the most empowering thing. Christian, congratulations. She's awesome. So also this year, I'm proud to announce our second chancellor's medalist. Jim, would you come on up? Jim too has been an inspiration to his professors and classmates. Let's take a look at his story, which will also inspire you too. Humility, uh, persistence, uh, curiosity, um, collaborativeness, um, humor. He really is kind of the, the whole package. He just stood out because he was a very empathetic and compassionate student. In this course, we do a lot of self-reflection. I was incredibly impressed uh, by what he wrote about. And he wrote about his experience uh, being hospitalized and very seriously ill. He was able to describe his own experience as a patient and how that's transformed the way he provides care. Having that lens just puts him in a, just an incredibly powerful position to make changes in our healthcare system. As I began to connect with my own weaknesses, my own pain, my own challenges, it, it's given me the strength to connect with other people's pain. Jim matriculated in the RN to BSN completion program this past fall. Uh, he graduated from nursing in 2010 and has been working at Virginia Mason uh, since then. As a teenager, I was diagnosed um, with HIV, I'm HIV positive, and uh, growing up in, in middle America, in Nebraska, a very religious family, it was something that I concealed. And it was a, a secret that I kept for greater than 10 years. He has gone through so many barriers in his life to get where he is today. Luckily, there were some allies to get me back on track and challenge some of those beliefs that I believed about myself that weren't true, um, like that I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't good enough to pursue an education. He's clearly a talented writer. He's clearly a very compassionate nurse, and I actually trust that whatever he chooses to do next, he will be exceptional. And now I'd like to invite President Kelsey to the lectern to present the President's Medal. Thank you. This year's President's Medalist is Alexander Gaston. 
He's graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration with a 3.99 GPA. Okay. Now, I want to know who's the professor that didn't give him a 4.0? Okay, let's learn more about Alexander. I wasn't paying attention to the names on the tests or anything, and I just noticed this one person did really well. And then I put all the grades together, and I said, lo and behold, Alex did it again. And I was really surprised. If you're careful and you pay attention to the details and you execute on those, you tend to do well, right? But very few people can persistently do that, and I think Alexander is one of those. Well, his GPA is a 3.99, and he had um, 3.9 in two classes. Well, if you're entering as a freshman, it's really finding out what you love to do, because ultimately, that's what's going to keep you motivated, is loving what you do. He's looked at a lot of different areas, and I think settled in an area that he had time to explore and decide was really what he wanted. My major is business, uh, business administration with a concentration in finance and accounting. I'm just having a blast. <laughs> so um, ultimately, I think I just found something that I really like to do. It's a puzzle, it's a game to me. He's very, very smart, but he's really a hard worker. He was one of the few students who have read the syllabus before the start of class. He's very detail-focused, very careful. My mom, when she was a teenager, came over from Vietnam during the war. Through it all, she was still able to graduate from UW um, as one of the only females in the double E department with honors. So I think that I draw a lot of inspiration and motivation off of seeing where my uh, friends and family have been and where I could potentially go in the future. I guess it comes down to, again, he's just so modest and, and also I think just has a lot of integrity. And I think he'll, he'll do very well out there in the profession because of all these traits. Congratulations, Alexander. It is now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, our very own President Anamari Kalse. <laughs> Dr. Anamari Kalse was named interim president by the University of Washington Board of Regents in February, on February 12, 2015. Dr. Kelsey joined the University of Washington faculty in 1986 and is a full professor of psychology and American ethnic studies with secondary appointments in gender, women, and sexuality studies and in the College of Education. She has held numerous administrative positions at the UW, including director of the UW Honors Program, chair of American ethnic studies, chair of psychology, Executive Vice Provost, Dean of Arts and Sciences, and most recently, Provost and Executive Vice President. She received the University of Washington's Distinguished Teaching Award in 1999. Dr. Kelsey earned degrees in English and Psychology from the University of Miami, and a PhD in Psychology with a concentration in Child Clinical and Community Psychology from Yale University. I now present President Dr. Anamari Kelsey. Thank you, Chancellor Ye, Board of Regents, faculty. It really is an incredible honor for me to be here today on the 25th commencement of the University of Washington Bothell. From humble beginnings in 1990, when 13 founding faculty members held classes in a business park for the 126 students that were enrolled, to nearly 18,000 graduates. The Bothell campus is now substantial and gorgeous. It's the home of the new Discovery Hall STEM building and soon to be opened activities and recreation center. <laughs> University of Washington Bothell, you've come a long way, baby.
But passion never rests and the beat goes on. UW Bothell was recently named the fourth fastest growing university in the nation. And that way they can provide more and more citizens across the state with access to a college education. But we never compromise excellence for access. They always go together. And last July, Money Magazine rated UW Bothell amongst the top 10 in the country for the best value for dollar. So I can really say, as I address you today, graduating class of 2015, that you are amongst the nation's best and brightest. And you demonstrated just how bright you were by choosing to attend UW Bothell. And then you've proven it again and again through your efforts and achievements while you were here. We just heard about some of the fabulous students in this graduating class. Your class also exemplifies the University of Washington's commitment to our public mission, to transforming lives, to social mobility. Amongst our first time degree recipients, our undergraduates, about half of you are the first in your family to obtain a college degree. And almost a third of you are recipients of Husky Promise. This means that you've had some truly significant economic obstacles to overcome along the way. You don't take things for granted, like the ability to make a living. Most of you understand why, in these post-recession years, there's been so much focus on career, on making a living. No doubt, that's part of what you're thinking about. And if you're not, I bet you your parents or your spouses or family are thinking about it. And it probably is at least part of the reason why you came to college or why you returned to college. But today, for a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to think beyond that. Today, let's put this moment in the context of your life so far, and let's connect it with your path forward. Your education, your hard work, the achievement that's represented by where you sit right now and by the gown you wear. Was it for starting salary, your benefits package? Sure. And there's nothing wrong with that. But underlying that diploma should be something you strive for with equal vigor, a life of meaning, of fulfillment, and yes, happiness. When I think about the purpose of education, I'm reminded of a series of debates at the dawn of the 20th century. Booker T. Washington, the elder spokesman for the black community at the time, thought that African-American men, and in those days college was just for men, should be getting an education that consisted of technical training focused solely on job skills, job skills that would be needed to earn a living in what was still the Jim Crow era. But then there was upstart W.E.B. Du Bois, still in his 20, Harvard's first black PhD, and one of the founders of the group that would become the NAACP. I think of him as my academic grandfather because he was my advisor's advisor. And DuBose had the radical notion that while job skills were important, it was just as important to invest in a deep and broad education to prepare for an unpredictable and ever-changing future. He believed that it was this type of broader education that would stretch their minds, vision, and sensibilities. At Hampton University in 1906, on a day perhaps not different from today, Du Bois told the faculty, impress it upon your pupils that necessary as it is to earn a living, it is more necessary and important to earn a life. Here at the University of Washington Bothell, You've received exactly that kind of education. 
In addition to your degree's requisite courses, you've had the opportunity to work side by side with faculty on truly cutting edge research. Perhaps you've learned a new language or developed your leadership skills. You may have studied abroad, engaged in service learning, or volunteered in the community. Perhaps like me, it was during these college years that you attended your first foreign film, live play, or concert. During your time here, you may have fallen in love, or out of love, or both. <laughs> Maybe you marched in your first demonstration. In fact, I think that woman in row three, seat five, weren't you at my office with that, with that petition last week? <laughs> like me, some of you lived at home and commuted to school, balancing obligations to your family and to your future. Or maybe this is the first time that you learned to live outside of your parents' home for the first time, with people who weren't related to you and didn't share your background. For me, that happened for the first time in graduate school. During your time here, I suspect and I certainly hope that every single one of you have pushed yourself or been pushed outside of your comfort zone to try something new. Because it's especially those experiences that deepened both the life I lead and the work I do and the career decisions I've made. It's those experiences that have pushed me that make me who I am. And these days, career is more a journey than a destination. You'll probably have a career one, two, three, or four. Look. I haven't changed employers in almost 30 years, but this is a third position I've had in the last five years. And you need critical thinking and flexible skills to serve you in a range of situations and positions, not just narrow skills. But you also need good habits of mind and heart to sustain you regardless of how you earn your daily bread that will earn you a life that is worth living. Now, I know that advice like this has become a meme. You'll hear it behind podiums like this across the country. Follow your passion, find your bliss, seize the day. Or in your generation's parlance, YOLO. <laughs> you only live once. Okay. It makes it sound very easy, very straightforward, but as an academic and someone that believes in the power of research, I looked at what does research have to say about a meaningful life, about happiness. My area is psychology, and in the last few decades, a new field, positive psychology, has been born, and it studies happiness and fulfillment. So, okay. Lesson number one, you know, we have a short, very short class this morning. So the first thing we're going to do is distinguish between pleasure and happiness. Now, pleasure is real, but it's superficial. How you feel when the sun's warmth falls on your shoulders, a feeling we've had a lot this last week. That new car smell in your nostrils, the feel of silk on your cheek, that, ah. Oh, sure feels good, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's fleeting. In contrast, real happiness comes from experiences that are more meaningful, more worthwhile. It's quieter, deeper, but much more long-lasting. You don't just experience it with your senses, you experience it here. It's not all about sunshine and butterflies. It often includes sacrifices and moments of deep sorrow and pain. Studies asking people to rate their happiness on a day-to-day -day basis over weeks or months find that after a big desirable purchase, like a new car, we do see a spike in happiness. But it generally lasts only for a few weeks at most. Then happiness falls back to where it was pre-car. The new car smell disappears. You spill coffee on that beautiful silk dress. 
or if you're like me, you outgrow it. And I don't mean getting taller. <laughs> Retail therapy may be a quick-acting drug, but its after effects are short. Happiness research shows that its experiences, especially those shared with people who are or will become important to us that bring sustained happiness. It's like when Humphrey Bogart said to Ingrid Bergman in Casablanca, we'll always have Paris. If you recall the movie, their Paris wasn't a vacation fling, but a deep love affair that had to end. And the line refers to the decision the ex-lovers make to once again part ways because they're following a higher calling to support the World War II resistance efforts. Happiness and fulfillment, it turns out, comes to you when you are selfless, when it's not about your pleasure. You can pursue happiness at every turn, but according to Holocaust survivor and therapist Viktor Frankl, it's not something you pursue, it ensues as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a course greater than oneself. Pleasure is about the present now. Deep and meaningful happiness is about those experiences and self-reflection that tie together past, present, and future, that give your life a trajectory, a narrative arc. The arc is made of individual moments. Those that stand out, though, are the ones that have meaning. Only some moments are memorable. You've probably been giving some thought to your time here. When you look back, what will you remember and treasure the most? It's probably not that great meal you had or those fabulous new shoes you bought at last week's sidewalk sale at U Village. It's more likely a favorite class, a professor who pushed you, a great book that you struggle to understand but ultimately changed the way you look at the world, the group project or thesis that kept you up all night like James was talking about. After a lifelong study of the psychology of happiness, Mihaly Shishmihaly found that our best and happiest moments are when our mind is stretched to its limit to accomplish something challenging and worthwhile. Experiences he called flow. You'll probably also remember forever new friends you made, moments of intimacy. And no, not just that kind of intimacy, gentlemen over there in row six. <laughs> you recall times, you will recall times when you helped somebody or someone helped you, when you made a real connection. Research on happiness affirms the fact that we're social creatures. We need people to thrive. We crave connection, understanding, touch. But paradoxically, our best connections come when we focus less on our needs and more on the needs of others. Happiness ensues. It is these moments, these experiences of challenge, of stretching, of connection, of giving, these times when you are mindful, all in, but selfless, these are the inflection points in the narrative that will become your life. Now, plotting out a course for the rest of your life is pretty daunting. I'm still working on it. But I want you to begin right now by cultivating these moments of flow, by vowing to take on challenges, even if it means that you will sometimes fail, by taking the risk to connect, even if at times you will be rebuffed. You will each find and make your happiness in different things, hopefully in many things. 
Perhaps you'll feel it when the statistics you're running for your master's thesis begins to make sense out of the question you asked. Maybe when one of your students who's been struggling in a class gets his first A. When you hold a newborn in your arms. When your team finally manages to totally debug a complex software system. Or when you walk out of an operating room after spending hours on your feet, bone tired, to tell a young newlywed that her spouse will live. It's moments like those strung together that make a life. I can't tell you, I wish I could, but I can't tell you what'll bring you happiness or meaning. I can't give you a formula or write you an equation. But I can say with a great deal of certainty that the education that shaped you and that you shaped while you were here at the University of Washington Bothell will get you there. So my parting words are easy. Don't worry, be happy. Okay, but remember that happiness ensues focusing not on yourself, but on others, and not by doing something easy, but hard. Go, make yourself a good living, pay your taxes, keep Social Security healthy until I get there. It's not that long. <laughs> but don't forget, while you're busy earning a life, earning a living, and adding to your net worth to make a life that's truly worth living. Congratulations, class of 2015. Well, thank you, President Kelsey, for your inspirational words. I know I picked up a few words like YOLO and uh, a couple other things. And I know that your uh, words really hit our uh, graduates hard. So I, I know they're going to take that uh, to heart with them. Thank, Thank you. you. OK, now, this is the beginning of the time you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the time has now come to award the degrees. Dr. Susan Jeffords, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs will present the candidates for the master's degree and they will be conferred by Regent Air. Will the candidates for the Master of Arts in Policy Studies, Master of Arts in Cultural Studies, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Nursing, Master of Science in Computer Science and Software Engineering, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Accounting, and Master of Education degrees, please rise. <laughs> Regent Eyre, I'm honored to present these master's degree candidates. I recommend that all who have fulfilled the requirements prescribed by the graduate faculty of the University of Washington Bothell be awarded their master's degree. On behalf of the Board of Regents and the faculty of the University of Washington Bothell, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your respective degrees of Master of Arts in Policy Studies, Master of Arts in Cultural Studies, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Nursing, Master of Science in Computer Science and Software Engineering, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science and Accounting, and Master of Education. Congratulations. Your university is very proud of you, and you'll be presented this afternoon with the memento of this commencement ceremony. Please be seated and await your turn to come forward. Candidates for the Masters of Arts in Policy Studies from the School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences, Cole Jensen, David Doyle, Denise Scully, Shmela Madadi, Melissa 
Watkinson. <laughs> Kelly Bird. Megan Hammond. Tosin Dada. Eritrea Habtamario. Heidi Schobel. Stephanie Hughes. Mojan Azmadi. Megan Conaway. Elizabeth Seeker. Adrian Linda Kugel. The candidates for the Masters of Arts in Cultural Studies from the School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences. Dominique Gabriela Garcia. <laughs> Alexandra Holin. Molly Wolf. Lisa Mackey. Conchetta Leggio. Julie Hurst. Nafasi Farah. Joyce Mwangi. Krista Storm. Suzanne M. Cohn. Stephanie Griesel. <laughs> Michaela Letvin. <laughs> Candidates for the Masters of Fine Arts in Creative Writing and Poetics from the School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences. Todd Simmons. Lenara Featherly. Samuel Iniguez. Travis Sharp. Penny Quinteros. <laughs> Candidates for the Master of Nursing from the School of Nursing and Health Studies. Andrea Moore. Nicole Siegel. Jessica Allen. Elizabeth Walton. Julie Burson. Rita Mark. Deborah Ellison. Elizabeth Spacoini. Mary Olson. Anne Kinneman. Gaju. Helen Gaju. Karen 
Ng. Bonnie Tochterman. Marie Yabut. Helen Okereke. Joy Jensen. Kristen Jensen. Megan Carlisle. Christine Aquino de los Reyes. Robin Houston. Amy Haverlin. Nicole Ardris. Luann Majid. Arla Dunlop. Julie Hornsby. Tatiana Chernig. Danette Verwert. Mohamed Konjira. And Amanda McAleer. Candidates for the Master of Science in Computer Science and Software Engineering from the School of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Prachi Singh. Anshu Pridarshini. Sherry Ramsey. Talak Shah. Virtika Verma, Amrita Kaur, Nita Karande, Priya Aguramurthy, Delmar Davis, Kriti Gupta. Jason Woodring, Hung Ho, Bao She, Candidates for the Master of Business Administration from the School of Business. Christopher Alexander. Brian DeBoer. Mark Jacoby. Tyler Spears. Keshav Pokaluri. Nicholas Chuhajian. Siska Tracy, Travis Embry, Nirmal Muthuri, Kendall McElliott, Joseph Torres, Robert Fariz, Greg Griffith. Eleanor Akopian. Anna Huang, Daisy Fishman, <laughs> Emily Yvonne Sito, Sidra Rizvi, Michael Wong, Anne Nguyen, Eric Higson. 
Tracy Jean Gallagher. Mohammed Jabril. <laughs> Annie Sumi, uh, Annie Sumi Nam. Oh, Matthew Waddleworth. Jeremy Mc McManus. Okay. Lashmi Namalafi. Gagandeep Oberoi. Jignasa Lakaj. <laughs> Michelle Chow. <laughs> Elu Tesurek. Walker Brooks. Grace Sullivan. Ryan Richardson, Pooja Sony, Roger Kwan, Rajo, uh, sorry, Harjot Foyer, Mason Mazza, Megan Silva. Zoila Sedano, Ryan Wheatley, Mika Page, and Mitchell Drill. Candidates for the inaugural Masters of Science in Accounting from the School of Business. Amanda Rickard. Brianna Wickens. Laura Matherly. Hill Fowler. Yu Han. <laughs> Thanks. Candidates for the Master of Education from the School of Educational Studies. Margarita. Newcomchik. Dana Broly. Jack Husband. Maria Files. Rebecca Rene Kelso. Campbell. <laughs> Alisa Isahagire. Oh. <laughs> Sobeka Sheikh. Sobia Sheikh. Jerry Blackburn. Michelle Moon. Lauren Jensen. Kara Byrne. Stephen Lazowski. Whitley Lene League. Teague. Megan Gruby. Bilal Abdallah. Alec Asha Ullman. 
Rhonda Coombs. Lindsay Wallendorp. Andrew Shanafelt. John Freycheck. Connor Corum. Henry Bush. Wendy McDonald. Evan Peterson. Rebecca Bankston. Katie Walter. Miki Asprey. Karen Zeem. Kristen Cortez. Rebecca Stanton. Michelle Zimninski. Jeffrey Jones. Catalina Alvarez Balanvera. Teresa Poldeno. Now, Vice Chancellor Jeffers will present the bachelor's degrees. This is the best moment of the whole day. Will the baccalaureate degree candidates please rise? Everybody stand up. Regent Eyre, I have the honor to present these candidates for the baccalaureate degree. I recommend that all who have fulfilled the degree requirements be awarded their degrees. On behalf of the Board of Regents and the faculty of the University of Washington Bothell, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree. Congratulations. Your university is very proud of you, and you'll be presented this afternoon with a memento of this commencement ceremony. Please be seated and await your turn to come forward. Candidates from the School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences. Christian Rasinaga. Justin, Arsinaga. Ni Justin Nygaard. Jason Ross. Brittany Manaris. Helena Widadja. Robert Yauch. Lumila Haliza Laposa. Daniel McMillan. Ekaterina Tetarina. Sarah Madsen. Robin, Robin Lynn Tenet Tentoko. Keisha Chin. Ed Sil Blanche. Alexa Yeary. Christy Vang. Laura Kasser. Esther Haymond. Shannon Hattrick. Tiffany Jan. Ashley Bailey. Samantha Parjanrat Watana. Cosmonaut Marishan. Yamalexi Ramos. Ramilo Meredith Ramilo. Henry Deng. Damaris Davis Galloway. Sabrina Clifton. Victoria Chin. Marielle Jardiel. Kevin Eslava. Jerry Roberts. Sherry Selch. Felicia Del Rio. Alex Cyril. Christopher Moran. Julie Tran. Brooke Aragi. Mackenzie Brocker, magna cum laude. 
Jimmy Jensen. Savannah Rose. Vala Mohajaras Jaspi. Tahira Nurjaman. Babak Nunsirian. Ashley Shattuck. Connor White. Philip Van Valkenberg. Alexander Rubens. Garrett Lowell. Joe Cow. Holland Roche. Rhodes. Cody Foranash. John Tadima. Rosalio Villegas. Mark Germino. Riley Peterson. Jared Jordan. Piying Chang. Brittany Lewis. Josie Rapanich, cum laude. Carissa Holt. David Edwards. Kevin Finton, cum laude. Santiago Jimenez. Emily Bullard. Jaylene. Oh, Jaylene Gallardo. Megan G, cum laude. Shawnee Will. Siobhan Mahafe. Sarah Jalili. Jessica Mariel Hernandez. Caitlin Perry. Layden Ansari. Jenna Gurgis. Zoe Hayuyi Wong. Nicholas Kono. Claire Elliott. Maritza Chavez. James Watson. Adriana DeLuva. Rebecca DeLuva. McFarland. Melissa Chavez. Brian Robertson. Martha Gaspar Jimenez. Kyrene Roy. Corbin Bugni, magna cum laude. Florina Edrozo. Christine Hutchins. Michelle Manigin. Grace Lynn Scott. Christina Rice. John Bolton, magna cum laude. Kevin Saison. Andrew Thune. Melissa Torimoto. Sharon Coor. Shauna Hubbard. Jessica Manfredi, cum laude. Gabrielle Lacer. Melissa Robinson, cum laude. Richard Dankert. Nicole Mitchell. Amanda Kessler, cum laude. Rayanne Miller, magna cum laude. Chung Pham. Mackenzie Ann Booth. Mark Ariness. Chelsea Cunningham. Alisa Liu. Catherine Glocking. Elizabeth Keo, cum laude. Megan Wright. Fatima al -Shamari. Stephanie Sheppel, magna cum laude. Christine Burt. Kyla Roth, magna cum laude. Salome Scherer. Valdana Ramek, magna cum laude. Nicole Palma. Rebecca McRae. Christina Martinez. Alicia Zulsdorf, cum laude. Grace Markel Lindstedt. Kirsten Vesney. Sarah Simons. Emily Lippincott. Carla Zavala Yescas. Jessica Lau. Lena Nafusi. Emily Usman. Imina Jojic. Cassandra Bosek. Niran Tirak. Joshua Vasquez. Maliao Kalini Lam. Fallon Schneider. Ashley Baker, cum laude. Jung Jung Wang. Amber Riedig. Maria Morales. Vivek Chaudhiri. Michelle Jacobson, magna cum laude. David Singleton. 
Shakol Howard. Zachary Hemming. Caitlin Sh Carolyn Schaefer. Brianna Hemming. Lavon James. Venus Solis. Mariah Moorhead. Alisa Aquino. Bernadette Nativo. Gerard Pascual. Mel McManus. Catherine Wackoltz. Susan Bosek. Gregory Bryson. Cody Linscott. Aria Hashimi. Mike Fisher. Manor Mangrio. Shinlen. Paige Trujella. C.U. Wang. Andrew Vernon McKay III. Mylin Nguyen. Emmett G. Linehan. Livia Pasik. Sandy Thomas. Monica Tentoso. Huda Sarhan. Lenka Savina. Anusha Fatima. Claire, Claire Wakeman. Christy Spromberg. Natasha Kumar. Emily Hutchins. Kiyavash Mana Mananian. Ethan Armfield. Adriana Lara. Chung Yan Lee. Jacqueline Rodriguez Julian. Ah Wong. London Lovendal. Jaiwei Pan. John Jose. Evan Williams. Joseph Bolden. Justin Johnson. Christopher Jupiter Jones. Cecilia Crawford. Andrea Hastings. Corey Wilmarth. Cassidy Watt. Robert Shin. Tricia Shorer. Ruben Sarkeesian. Daniel Garbash. Allison Tickenall. Shakira Vaikunath Thania Nathan. Celine, Celine, Celine McCormick. Samuel Link. Isaiah Nieto. Brandon Packer. Ashley Brandon. Dustin Starkey. Kelly George, magna cum laude. Damian Dariush Kashfia. Eric Saichik. Ashley Hart, cum laude. James Elzey. Stuart Yu. David Hedrick. Fazel Khan. Taylor Barnes. Lloyd Sim. Rachel Kaozowski. Sungyi Kim. Benjamin Karlick. Rosalind Snyder. Harrison Pierce. Jeremy Shriver. Nicholas Damon. Lindsay Langstrat. Maria Cortez. Samantha Crawley. Jonathan Davis. Kellen Ramaji. Grant Nash. Justin Bales, cum laude. Laurel Williams. Mergon Sanayi. Catherine Sharma. Emily Borglion. Giovanna Nutellenlot Boss. Amy Davidson. Idris Romero. Andrew Johnson. Eric Flatness. William Tyler. Lisa Pessin. Franklin Studevos. Michael Jones. Luke Evans. Cassie Smalley. Justine Goebel. Aiko Suitsugu. David Lyle. Alisa Heruta. Paul Gonzalez. Jeremy Barre. 
Camille Schaffman, Magnum Kuhn Laude. Jessica Pysit. Amy Shin. Reynold Kulala. Crystal Whitaker, Kum Laud. Yi Jung Ko. Kishana Russell. Hu Jong Kim. Cassandra Yi. Joshua Kissett. Mackenzie Pochapan, Magna Cum Laud. Carl Boyd. Shannon Smith. Itomu Gotu. Ujung Wang. Rajmi Joshi. Soon Felt. Joshua Tedsum Bandit. Sh Shelmy Goodry. Marian Palma. Sarah Leffler. Reginald Miguel. Kevin Mason. Hinton Wu. John Richards. Jor Leong. Melissa Kaiser. Wing Law. Pukiza. Nick Viet Monjova. <laughs> Ken Jaiva. <Viet> Viet Nguyen. <laughs> David Lishner. Ahmed Mohammed. Taylor Frazier, cum laude. Ibsa Wado. Zhu Zhao Dang. Jessica Richter. Jonathan Gebreses. Amanda Bash Garrison. Nikosi Davis. Keisha Kanal. Larry Trin. Ayla Riviera. William Lira Nichols. Deepinder Singh. Avery Lowe. Henry Nicholson. Matthew Ho. Matthew Todd, cum laude. Will Tun. Erica Leong. June Chen. Amy Atunas. Eric Shaw. Cheryl Sanchez. Jason Nye, magna cum laude. Tyler Warren. Lee Liu. Shanaz Fitter. Keelan Zhang. Violetta Ma Magnaya. Kamal Qureshi. Sorry. Daniel Eisenbrandt. Hannah Bork. Fong Tai. Pez, oh, Jane Peznecker. Valerie Cortez. Cassinia Polonkina. Katerina de la Fuente. Elizabeth Ramos Lopez. Patrick Dewey. Alicia Mesner, cum laude. Emily Merwicki. Zoe Fierstein. Rachel Womack. Amber Binnick. Eric Pape. Abdukhani Muhammad. Henry Situ. I say to Balde. Camry Pringle. Hamza Abdul Rahman. Lindsay Powell. Joshua Lecha. Dal Mila Lee McLean. Amelia Abiem. Jessica Neer, cum laude. Carla Damron. Paige Dormier. Brandon Washington. Daniel Bra Danielle Bradley. Yasin Orsame. Shay Sullivan. Nimko Khalif. Abrima Bande. Jerusalem Gabre. Waais Arte. Hosanna Tekle. Joseph Chong. Ruth Debese. Savannah Kamir. Alejandra Sanchez. 
Kylie Tan Tanjamin. Susan Wong. Fatin Mohammed. Heaven Take Lab. Cameron Williams. Kin Wu. Rachel Hoffman. Nan Yao. John Gordon. Caleb Haddish. Dana Walker. Farzad Saba. Tuan Ha. Candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Interactive Media Design from the Schools of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences and Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Kaylin Norman Slack. Christopher Miller. Condaladia Herrera. Angela Liu. Correa Walker. Kaing Kuchi. Natasha Nyoto Wejia. Bernie Wong. Ashley Raimondo. Devin Omans. Daniel Lee. Thaddeus Allen. Eva Hearth. Summa Cum Laude. Aaron Whiting. Suzanne Zuber, Cum Laude. Nicholas Rude. Ross McLeod. Adam Robinson, Cum Laude. Scott Klingenberg. Kyson Moore. Alexander LeBlanc. Dave Madden. Matthew Fix. Derek Wu. Candidates from the School of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Benam Shariati. Kathleen Liu. Nicholas Moody. Henderson England, magna cum laude. Luis Cardenas Contreras. Sheila Scheiding. Elizabeth Lewandowski. Andrew Tagle. Faiza Ayaz. Rose Ann Nicholas. Verkamal Diwali. Chelsea Lubong. Dollywell. Sunam Sakya. Kaylee Garland. Giraldi Prajnamatra. Pra Trevor McCoy. Anthony Stillman. Jasmine Reyes. Kelly McCallalid. Janessa Ramos. Beza Nagusa. Julina Liu. Suna Gadiwala. Alicia Bragman. Magdalena Grismiel. Sarah Verlindi, cum laude. Thomas Pettit. Jordan Proch. Tyler Gustafson. Daniel Orchard. Orchard. Eleanor Wart. Dwayne Honeycutt. Abdu Hadi Al Gamadi. Benjamin Pham. Morteza Chini. Douglas Burt Henderson. Kaylee Gross Kryitz. Casey Rashafert. Martha Pidcock. Brandon Lozano. Peary Campbell. Ethan Brickman. Mavis Lamb. Evan Kostinko. Madison Dalgarn. Alexander Hernandez. Elizabeth Berry. Daniel Smith. Rachel Deneka. Sai Bedi. Hawaiian Lee, faculty honors. 
Alexis Mint. Bree McCluskey. Michelle Immens. Maya Verba. Aziz Hawk. Shannon McMillan. Tyler Bannon. Agab Abigail Carey. Efkar Arslan. Lisa Peterman. Joshua Custer. Jeffrey Thompson. Kevin Eccles. Amanda Abbott. Michael Liu. Justin Putz. Devin Kim. Jacob DeBerry, cum laude. Tarit T. Jason Wessels. Hung Boy. Jason Sweeney. Hatha Dam. Race Brox. Travis Leung. Matthew Everett Christopher Ramos. Nat Lee. Jordan Walker. Colin Stefishin. Bill Chow. Dylan Carson. Griffin Harris. Matson Ofstadal. David Larson. Rishi Truvidi. Nicholas Abel. Vincent Wynn. Christopher Tran. Austin Bruce. Yun Chow. Dimitri Gower. Timothy Galvin. Omit Mulakni. Philip Todorovic. Enoch Fu. Devin Stone. Alexander Chang. Anna Christine Martinez. Tim Tang. Diana Mugley. Bupesh Kumar. Dakota Kidd. Cole Hardwick. Margaret Odom, cum laude. Casey Hooray. Andrew Warma. Greg Shook. Gloria Singla. David Miller. Wei Lu, cum laude. Brian Hoang. Austin Soriano. Tan Nguyen. Gugeng Ya. Jan Chow. John Louis. Stephen Gaston. Sean Lai. Jason Fisher, cum laude. Curtis Anderson. Kelly Welsh, cum laude. Shane Barker. James Finley. Cole Goodling. Matthew Hicks. Diane Kerstein. Natalie Harris. Josh Brunner. Jisoo Yoon. Dallas Van Ness. Amanda Chase. Luke Selbach. Tanaye Sudi. Jefferson Castillo. Johannes Gebri Hiwat. Gia Wynn. Sanai Yihun. Mike Dai. Salim Yihun. Matthew Dai. James Murphy. Jay Barth. Bath. Sarah Jackson. Arjuna Sivakumar. Chance O'Day. Matab Dhaliwal. Bonnie Vo. Marina Nishojo. Ryan Warren. Seung si Hwan Choi. Albert Tischler. Victoria Trin. Long Tao. James Tone. Abdul Cum, laude. Cum laude. Abdul Hakim. Jimmy Chang. Maxim Petrosia. Samuel Kim. Robert Bezerganyan, cum laude. Sota Ogo, faculty honors. Alvaro Licea. Bin Nguyen. Paul Nguyen. Paul John Piro. 
Torki Almohassan. Brian Quigley. Lance Cho. Constance, Constantine Stewa, Stehoff. William Pfeffer. Norman Hansen. Ton Trio. Tenzin Chopi. Andreas Chu. Elaine Keller. Jason Fu. Chun Chao Zhang. Alex Wong. Tina P. Daniel Iliisko. Jason Daly. Carl Martinez. Sumun Jampala. Terry Rogers. Sama Murray. Baranyu Nizi. Yashun Lu. Osman Gunarso. Kulmeet Singh. Robinson Thompson. Candidates from the School of Business. James Anderson. Stephanie Keola. Joseph Shadwick. Melissa Grimm. Timothy Wynn. Gowrie Saki. Ben Fessler. Samantha Walsh. Gregory Gentry. Kristen Wagner. Ashley Kelly. Kirsten Wilfley. Sunish Chul Dev. Todd Swain. Jace Kara Nat. Jamil Chavez. Dewey Nguyen. Imong Akung. Kelvin Ng. Eric Webb. Miranda Wynn. Joe Lopez. Genia Siamountry. Javier Schaller. Lauren Romero. Stephen Lambert. Alexander Gaston, summa cum laude. Tawny Beer Bearwood. Alexander Fregata. Aaron Gardner. Raymond Diaz. Quaini Yin. Anderson Tran. Kelly Osborne. Fitzgerald Pahang. Bridget Davis. Shi Lam. Philip Moon. Soha Dastbaz. Eddie Short. Matthew Moss. Troy Beckett, magna oh. cum laude. David Goki. Andrew Baker. Shadi Jafari. Brianna McLaughlin. Navid Namazi. Joseph Rogers. Billy Chan. Jose Foyas. Marque Omar. Cindy Bruner. Tony Suimi Mingfat. Kyle Galando. Eunice Chan. Troy Lee. John Fears, magna cum laude. Razvan Morar. Yaya Jane, cum laude. Justin Jerovic. Kei Chen, magna cum laude. Anthony Sanders. D. Wang, cum laude. Randy Sinema. Nestor Astorga. Michelle Hay. Martin Wynn. Nicole Sparrow. Chad Oda. Wei Wei Gia. Pat Dam. Gia Lin. Gia Austin Lin. Stimson. Jun Yuan, cum laude. Douglas Durst. Jin Yu Zhu. 
Matthew Sun. Ying Zeng. Garrett Congdon. Maiden Wang. James Eshrick. Ashir Dushaber. Dustin Myring. TJ McPherson. Karina Soslova. Olivia Lewis. Rachel Vick. Stacy Yoon. Melissa Brockett. Christina Kuo. Robert Wynn. Kristen Philiston. Mandeep Rathor, cum laude. Saho Narumoto, cum laude. Christina Rathor. Rachel Shea. Alexander Gorslein. Shinindorch Ozi Sahan. Jimmy Tongoli. Kava Bazar Otion Ja Garli. Pearl Lara. Henderson Nguyen. Daniel Silva. Max Wallum. James Chudersky. Lily Vo. Ryan Root. Tiffany Liu. Eric Erlandson. Winnie Wong. Ryan Tucker. Christopher Barajas. Theodore McCall. Adam Walzik. Justin Reynolds. Amanda Lee. Yulia Dudishian. Tween Ringel. Marvin Ang. Heather Rowland. John Williams. Maria Sad. Matthew Bacon, faculty honors. Farouk Kunduli, Kunduklia. Molly Eastridge. Mahir Polovina. Elliot Scroggins. Pinhung Liao. Raven Sass. Frank C. Robin Ponmesai. Robin Ponmesai. Jaiwei Chen. Kim Lei. Hunlong Huang. Christian Costal. Wei Hong Zhong. Amanda Nagy. Baida Chen. Maria Brown, magna cum laude. Jaren Elizabeth K. Hawaiani Vanetta. Manami Mishina. Gaurav Gupta. Lee Chang. Samia Eastman. Lokian Kuang. Lena Shulman. Jason Wang. Ben Gibson. Anderson Falcon. Jelena Sergeva, cum laude. Chelsea Brooks. Grace Bronstein Finch. Jody Robbins. Adrian Bonney. Lucy Thatch. Veronica Claudio, cum laude. Margaret Yang. Jordan Pearson. Lon, Lon Jin. Les Lautenko. Yachen Leong. Nea Babul. Ping Young. Tatiana Kisilova. Brian Shin. Alexander Wheeler. True Ding. Marion Cruz. David Hyun. Derek Kuo. Khalid Shanta Cheat Precha. Christopher Caleb Martinez. <laughs> Ganjana Fasomsap. David Sparks. An Huang. Christina McCown. Thu Ding. Amanda Lulanga Loth. Zuying Li. 
is Sarah Epson. Sue Hang Mo. Morgan Marchell. Tu Nguyen, cum laude. AJ Nelson. Liv Ia. Jeff Nelson. Maggie Wang. Elizabeth Colnell. Jeff Thorne. Michelle Goff. Jason Lucero, cum laude. Eric Doe. Nick Devin. Abhishek Mune Sodi. Mooney Sodi. I know. Dario Shrisai. Alma Haji Hasanovich. Jeff Darris. Mataya Zahirovich. Ivan Inchauste, magna cum laude. Maria Gonzalez. Prabal Banerjee. Shuhua Howe. Phoebe Day, cum laude. Renzi Stowe Thomas. Margarita Lassiter. Russell Snyder. Minbere? Minbere Mulate. Edric Chung. Abdu? Abdu Sewe. Kimberly Ladwasen, magna cum laude. Eric Kuorn. Jacob Erickson, magna cum laude. Chi Zing. Christopher Newton. Anta Seca. Bat Troon. Hyun Jun Kim. Andrew Shiv. Jin Sub Lee. Huyin Chen, magna cum laude. Anuse Mufenge. Chris Halstead. Anna Marie Fox. James Wilford. Claire Jennings. Sofana Swan. Song. Pa Pai Tan. Randir Singh. June Park. Takuma Matsushita. Joshua Zucker, cum laude. Hein Lee. Yichao Wang. Vanessa Lopriori. Norman Peros. Amy Polycarpio. Eugenia Surinokova, faculty honors. Brittany Sinfuego. Melissa Lang. Michael, Arun, Michael Valle. Arun Adiaman. Catherine Maldonado. Derek Chen. Monique Diego. Jarrell Moray. Emily Clanch. Minat Huyn. Patrick Villanueva. Lee Winden. Jeffrey Hayton. Marina Zaki. Javad Beg. Matthew Idro. Olga Guseva. Daniel Ivazov. Shirley Aguilar Serna. Arman Sahik Sahakian. Luz Divina Gil Vargas, magna cum laude. Alicia Bowling. Aldo Pineda. Akila? Akila Cooper. Marina Hahn. Karin Shori, cum laude. Yu Feng. Jeremy Domingo. Bijun Chen. Andrew Fricks. Jiansheng Zhu, magna cum laude. Brian Iskandar. Maliha Sidagi. Gurjeet Kaur. Candidates from the School of Nursing and Health Studies.
James Elliott. Renee Case. Melissa Flolo. Camille Hubbard. Sanjun Park. Maria Tan. Alexander Delgado, Faculty Honors. Azina Sisse, Faculty Honors. Musa Mabai. Sneha J. Devon. Lilia Valcheva. Mindy Walls, Faculty Honors. Alice Fox, Faculty Honors. Linda Matthews. Anna Kratovich. Omar Sain. RJ and Garcia Evangelista. Maylee Vo, Faculty Honors. Gerland Panello. Veronica Mudd, Faculty Honors. Brianne Monet. Kirsten Gubwat. Kebebe Shkebre. Anna Burchecki. Gerachu Demisi. Gangin Kor. Susie Alvarez Mayer. Katrina Carpenter. Melissa Hamilton. Sierra Winnethal. Charlotte Jordan, Faculty Honors. Dirk Joachim. Emily Sorman, Faculty Honors. Yet Shear. Kimberly Miller. Maureen Ochilanu. Margaret Lewis. Isatau Kante. Carrie Bly. Aviato. Aviato Jande. Maria del Carmen Zamani, Faculty Honors. Kendra Andreas. Maria Olson. Tatiana Prizek, Faculty Honors. Lydia Armad. Laura Nassit, Faculty Honors. Karen Hohaya. Jana Gilbert. Mio Yamakoshi. Lee Johnson. Mariana Ko Kojokaru, Faculty Honors. Claire Saladino. Noreen Scheidt, Faculty Honors. Stephanie Spiker. Rena Karki. Michelle Ostenberg, Faculty Honors. Christy Hawkins, Faculty Honors. Rochelle Lee. Maria Guerrero, Faculty Honors. Celia Chantel. Laura Eckel Eckelbarger. Mary Joy Minor. Santosh Shrista. Lori Robarts. Mona Amdala. Jade Van Waring, Faculty Honors. Wafa Ka Ka Kaini. Beth Schrader. Senedu Abebe. Krissa Alogia Kennedy. Elizabeth Mackey. Alicia Howard. Kathleen Arthurson, Faculty Honors. Melody Neville. Carrie Hawker, Faculty Honors. Joy Gumagai. Jennifer Roskowski. Danielle Percival. Andrea McDonald. Sarah Wilms. Ismail Tunkara. Jessica Hammonds. Waji Jop. LaShonda Daly. James Harrigan. Rafaela Koloika. Noel Sanyang. Gabriela Mazarios. Jose Reyes. Katrina Kuzmetkova. Chantel Van Pelt. Haijong Chin. Colleen Nice. 
Ella Kukmi. Nicole Stanton. Nazra Abraham. Sarah Vass. Dike Saha. Amber Baxter. Susie Ryu. Krista Brown. N Natalia Sovetova. Michaela Dimitrov. Faculty Honors. Ursuli Magallanes. Alex Semenuk. Stacy Henderson. Denise Eckerlin. Amy Binham. Tyler Alice. Valicia Lynn. Edwin Belen. Crystalline Petra Schaefer. Gabriella Bin Binder. Michelle Barlson. Stacy Cartevold. Carolyn Elliott, magna cum laude. Sarah B. Sarma. Fatima Sharif. Roya Bistani. Kalida Sharif. Sharif. Michelle Sarah. Mudrovich. Sarah Brady. Jumping ahead. Linda Ton. Neha Sheriff. Jacqueline Wallace. Nicole Coder. Taylor Stanley. Haya Shahin. Rainier Delug Delusag. Chelsea Meggett. Kiona Elliott. Kendall McAdam. Ray Janine Ortiz. Carol Anderson. Janelle Lynn Cruz. Catherine Kim. Sin Yi Ao. Marie Roderick. Ashley Wu. Aliyah Throckmorton. Crystal Gonzalez Guzman. Stana Racco. Shelia Suta Koban. Ifra Mohammed. Francesca Hurl. Katie Javang. Candidates who are receiving their Washington State teaching certificates. Stacy Hatchetel. Jennifer Kathleen Carvonen. So today's commencement ceremony, your graduation, there's one thing left to do before we close. You can stay connected with us with, and you, uh, with your classmates and, your, uh, and others through UW Bothell's LinkedIn page. So don't forget to sign up for that. And also connect with us on Facebook too. So now, class of 2015. Actually, might as well stand up. <laughs> This one is a great academic tradition. So your tassel should be on your right, right? Okay, now you may move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations.
my God. Okay. As the ceremony concludes, we ask our guests to please remain in your seats until the recessional is complete. As you exit, please do so in an orderly manner, and please do not block any aisles or doors. Thank you. And I see they're moving the balloons, the balloons. Good, thank you. So, the 24th annual commencement ceremony of the University of Washington Bothell is hereby concluded. <laughs>